be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right in. Now today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can make crazy trap hi-hats. So, so this is gonna be the ultimate um, hi-hat tutorial in Logic Pro 10 for trap hi-hats, okay? I got this little melody, nah, nah, it's not even a little, it's called the biggest. So it's the biggest melody clapping 808 pattern right here and then all it really needs is some sauce with the hi-hats and I'm going to show you how to do that. First, let's go ahead and listen to what the melody sounds like. All right, cool. So that's the melody. What we're gonna want to do though is add some dope hi hats. Normally, what people do is go ahead and use the piano roll and then set, take the super long time drawing in notes like this. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with the step sequencer instead. So what you'll do is again click on these scissors and then go to the step sequencer. Now you're gonna want to create a new track before you do all this. Go to quick sampler, load your drums or hi hat. Uh, sample in there obviously this is what I did first um, but what you're gonna see is this okay when you go to the step sequencer two or there's a few things I want you to pay attention to number one is the step on and off button okay this blue button right here is if you if you basically this is selected it's gonna create a note so just to get this going we're just gonna do a basic pattern This is a constant hi-hat. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be pretty basic. There's only a couple of notes here. If you wanna get more detailed in your hi-hats, just go over here to where it says 16 steps and go all the way down to 64 steps. And then what you're gonna to have to do is just breaking it down between bars here, so measures. So this first group right here is here and the second group here. Okay, you have to remember to switch off between those. But basically what you want to do here is once you get your constant hi-hat pattern, you can just add some variation with the step on and off button. So check this out. We're going to add some variation. So when we got the, our, our variation. I'm just going to pretty much just take that sample and drag it over by holding option. And then the next thing we're going to do is talk about this right side right here. So instead of having this uh, step on and off button selected, go ahead and click on the velocity value button instead. Now, when you click right here, it's going to give you a whole lot of different other options that you could use to edit your hi-hats or beats or whatever you want to do. Um, the things we're going to be talking about today, though, is going to be the velocity value, the note repeats, okay? And we'll also talk about skip, all right? So those three. Um, and then there's another bonus one, octave. So we'll do those four, actually. Uh, velocity value, octave, note repeat, and skip, all right? So we're going to be using all those in this hi-hat tutorial. Now, first things first with the velocity value, when it comes to doing hi-hats in Logic Pro 10, if you turn or nudge this uh, velocity value down some and put it in different um, points in the uh, track, what you're gonna notice is it creates like a little swing effect. I'm gonna show you what I mean right here. So check this out. Like, so let's say we just take this down like this, Take him down like this. Maybe take him down like this. Let's listen to how the, sound, the track sounds. You know, adds a little bit of a swing. Now, I don't want to do that on this particular one. I want to show you what you could do um, after actually doing the note repeat. 
and using the the, va the velocity value together. So this is what note, note repeat is. So basically, if you click on any note you want, if you push up, it's going to basically drop that note down into smaller, smaller segments. If you pull down, it's gonna do, you know, larger segments. So check this out. You can just do stuff like that. Do stuff like that. So let's check it out. Okay, so you can do stuff like that doing just a note repeat. Now, if you wanted to add some more dynamics to it, you could go over here to velocity after use note repeat, and you can just bring it down certain notes to get a certain vibe. Um, So if you listen real close, you can pretty much hear. Just how changing the velocity of some of these notes makes the, the you know, the hi-hat pattern sound different. Uh, let's keep it moving, man. We're going to also throw in some octave uh, switches here on this. If you just pick certain notes here and push them up or down, it will make the hi-hat sound kind of cool. Let's take it, let's play this whole, whole section. And then outside of octave, like I wanted to also show you skip. And pretty much if you just place skip like in between any certain places, it's gonna add a kind of swing vibe to it.
But as y'all can see, man, just by adding certain variations to the hi-hats, using these different uh, meters and stuff like that, you can get some real advanced sounding hi-hats. You just basically go ahead and take some of these tips I gave you, play around with it, and make these things your own. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.